Hello everyone and welcome back to Pokemon X! Last time around, we explored Azuri Bay and we finally made Zipia evolve into Malamar! And today, it's time to head into this cave and see what it's all about. The Sea Spirits then. This is really eerie, just gotta say. And there's nothing here. It's just really eerie. Well, it probably has some use in the future, so... I guess that was it for this episode, so anyway, I hope you enjoyed <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. Uh, so... I guess that's a little bit of foreshadowing. Because it feels like that area is going to get very important later on in the game. So anyway, now, let's learn to a wild encounter. No, but uh, let's head, let's head down. Uh, so there was a wasn't anything we could do there, <laughs> as you might have seen that. I I don't even. <laughs> well, uh, I guess the only thing that we can really do at the moment is uh, head back and explore the city that we were just at before we decided to go on a little bit of a voyage, you know. So. We're back on Route 12, and welcome to Kumarine City. Holo Clip received? Who who wants to call me now? Oh, it's Serena. Emil, I challenge you to a battle in front of the gym. Prepare yourself. Well, thank you very much for, uh, for telling me that, or else I would have not been very prepared. When I was a child, I saw a Pokemon trainer with the great Ampharos in Asura Bay. Oh, you know, we got that Ampharos site uh, last time around. Ah, uh, we can't jump on any of these boats, but... Isn't the proportions... Or is those boats just... I guess kind of that small, I mean... I don't know, are we supposed to be able to... Be in the, like, the driver's seat or whatever? It look kind of small if I gotta, gotta, if I gotta say. I've traveled around the world and collected many different kinds of incense. Uh... Do I have any incense to sell? I don't think so. I don't really care. But what kind of incense do we got? Uh, so, whoa, these are very expensive. And I am to behold by Pokemon. So you can see most of these... This exotic smell of incense makes the holder bloated and slow moving. It doubles any prize money received if the holder Pokemon joins. So this is basically... An amulet coin, so I'm just going to pick that one up. And we, we could basically have a full team with Pokemon that only have uh, luck in sense, so that is. That is. I mean, we would probably have infinite money at one point or another. Well, if it isn't. Well, if it isn't a traveling trainer, must be terrible working all over the place like that. Well, you know. It doesn't really bother me that much. Silk Scarf! Uh, I quite enjoyed actually to be on a journey with my Pokemon. You know, it's not the end of the journey that, that is like the main thing. It is the journey that makes you who you are. Anyway, hello there, fisherman. I wonder if you're on train, are you? Let me guess, you wish to fish for all Pokemon in the water, right? I'm sure you do. Shall I lend you a rod? Yeah, we got a good rod! So, now in the BIOS, uh, all the Pokemon that you will be able to find with good the good rod will appear. So, yeah, now we got this pretty much the second best rod in the game. And uh, the Seaside Station, take the Monterey here to the Pokemon Center and the Poke. Okay, I guess we gotta go on a Monorail. Monorail! My magic card is so cute when he did Poke Goofs with Gusto. Watching it eat them made me go off my diet again. So, what did we got up here? Oh. Totally random TM quiz! Ooh, if you give me a correct answer. Whoa! I'll give you a TM! You want to. Ah, uh, sure, let's go for it. Yay! Now, here's the question What's the move that I'm describing? If the user is not holding an item, this attack inflicts massive damage. If the user is not all. It's not acrobatics. Well. If the user is not holding an item, this like acrobatics is 
Wait. Uh. Oh, it was. I, I just. I thought it was the other way around. As I promised, I'll give you a TM. Uh. Yeah, we got TM62. Acrobatics. And as she said. Oh. Oh, yeah, I guess you can come here every day and she will give you. Give you a, a new TM. But anyway. As she said, we got acrobatics. The user nearly strikes the target. If the user is not holding an item, this attacks inf oh, inflicts massive damage. So it's pretty much double the damage, if I remember correctly. So I think what we're going to do is, depending on how uh, what moves, I don't know if I want to give it acrobatics, since you know we have. Bounce, we have area lace, which will always hit. Acrobatics also always hits. Ah! You know what? It's almost the same amount of uh, damage for uh, as area lace. So I'm just going to I'm just going to get rid of area lace and teach Hera acrobatics. That may be a bad choice since uh, if I give if I give Hera an item, acrobatics will not do as much damage as, as it could do, but. Whatever, we got a hotel here, so... Don't you just love it when you have something in common with a celebrity? I'm just like Ramos! I always keep a go-go -go with me too. Sergio Ramos? You know, he, that... That football that he, sh that he shot over the... Over the goal... Uh, for Real Madrid? Yeah, that ball is still in... Still going around the earth. It, it'll still be... It's still going. Uh, I think people see it every day. <laughs> sure, don't see very many magic... In the Kalos Street. You know, I just met a guy with six free magic carps. I don't think you're. S I mean, that just adds insult to injury. But yeah, that's actually kind of true because. Game director. Oh, you're working on your Pokedex. Come show it to me. Okay. So he's. He's here in this city. Uh, I guess. But yeah, I guess magic carps are kind of rare because you won't be able to find them with the old rods. Uh, I believe. I believe you can only find uh, love this generally. But anyway, uh, let's take the monorail. 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 Oh. Ah, oh, hello there, Psychomore. Why, hello, Emil. Long time no see. Congratulations. I see you finally obtained everything you need for Mega Evolution. A Mega Stone for the Pokemon, a Mega Ring for the trainer, and a strong bond with your Pokemon. A strong bond? It's <laughs> jeez. It's only a hypothesis. I put hypothesis, but I think the bond between Pokemon and trainer is the key to this new evolution. But what is this bond exactly? James Bond. And why are there examples of Mega Evolution only in the Kalos region? There's still so much we don't know. Does this make you think of something like Kalos's legendary Pokemon? Found only here in the Kalos region, right? Nowhere else. Maybe that's not a coincidence. Oh, what an excellent point, indeed. The more you know, the more there is to research. The excitement never ends, does it? How exciting. Oh, that's right, I came here to give you this. Yay! Use the HM Fly to pop right over to Pokemon Center of places you've already visited. Well then, Emil, this means that, uh... I'm going to, in some of the upcoming episodes, I'm going to go back and get like stuff that I missed or surf on uh, in previous areas before we actually had surf. So we'll not do that quite yet, but we'll we'll do it in a little while. Diantha, I hope, I hope to see you both again soon. Diantha, you say? Bonds, they really are important to us all, aren't they? When I'm acting, I think I'm always trying to forge a bond between myself and the character I'm playing. If all I think about is how I'm, how I'm nothing like a character, then I'll just hate playing it. But if I focus on what I have in common with the character and put myself in her shoes, I might be able to understand her. It's the same for people, or Pokemon. Oh, never mind, I'm just babbling about my own things. Let's not battle the next we meet, shall we? I'm still looking forward to it. Eh, uh, okay. Okay, Diantha. Teehee! Even the movie star Diantha rides the monorail. Visitors always have a one-track mind about it. How that's one... How that's for one learner! Oh! Please talk to the person at the counter before boarding the monorail. Okay then. 
I'm not, I'm not able to store any items. Well, why would I do that? Actually, now that I think about it, yes, I wanna ride a monorail, the monorail! And yes, I have to do that every time I see the word monorail, monorail, monorail! And we're pretty much on the other side. Metronome! Oh, that's just the item metronome. If a Pokemon holding a metronome uses one move over and over again, that's when its power will go up. Oh. Which do you think is cooler, Pokemon or monorails? <laughs> monorails! I think Pokemon are monorails. Monorails are cool, but monorails are cool because you can see really far away while on board. Oh yeah, I can't use my... Can't use my item finder inside. Hillcrest Station, the monorail lives from here. And we got the Pokemon Center here, so let me just go ahead and heal up my Pokemon real quickly. And I'm also going to stock up on quite a few Super Repels, 99 of them to be exact, because as I said before, when you're surfing around, it's kind of annoying that you... That you like find Pokemon. Oh, I see you over there. Why are you staring into the corner, Mr. Mr. Bonding? And no, I don't need an explanation. Just, just give me the powers already. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. And uh, let me actually use some of those uh, bonding powers. Uh, if I may. Or the old powers. Uh, we could use uh, one of the price price money power, and it's uh, time limited. So for only three minutes, uh, we'll be able to use that one, I guess. So I guess it was kind of pointless, really, since we're just going to be walking around the town. So yay for me! I just waited. A, I just wasted an O power. Hooray for me! Even though I haven't really been using the O powers that much, really. Pokemon with abilities like Insomnia and Vital Spirit just won't fall asleep for you. Yeah, that's actually a very good ability if you, if you obviously don't want to fall asleep. But uh, yeah, let's just check out all the places in this town. If there are leftover treats, the stronger one will get them. Okay, sharing treats, having fights, things that only seem to cause a loss can't be done alone. Hey, okay. Okay then, wise words from a, I don't know if he's a very wise man, but whatever. Whatever. Got to get it to get it! That's the name of my song, wanna give it a listen? Yeah, sure. Well, let's sit back with a cup of tea or something, relax and listen. Hey, I'll make me become Pokemon song, please listen! Okay. I mean, maybe one of your party Pokemon. Which Pokemon was it? Uh. Dang it. That was Malamar. Okay, I'll try it again. Hey, you just use the same sound again. Eh? Because Malamar is up front, isn't it? Uh. Yay, Poketoy! I knew you had to get some kind of a reward for it. You send out three Pokemon at once in both triple battles and rotation battles. I heard these new battle styles got their start in the Unova region. And you are indeed correct. They got popularized uh, over there. I guess you can say. And I, didn't, I didn't speak to you though. So those egg-like things that are found at the Pokemon daycare. Strictly speaking, they're not eggs. They're more like a Pokemon cradle. Okay. Uh, oh. I don't think I was supposed to go down here. I need to get to Lumio City, but the gate is closed to the power outage! The Kalos power plant is right on Route 13! Yay, thank you for the Black Sludge. Black Sludge is basically life, like leftovers, but it only works for Poison-type Pokémon. And if you don't have a Poison-type Pokémon... Hi there, you find Route 13, which I'm not going to be going to quite yet. K Kumarine City, <laughs> Yeah, I actually forgot what the place is actually called for a moment there. Having lots of Pokemon will give you a big smile! The legends of Kalos say the legendary Pokemon is in a deep, deep, deep sleep. That's why there aren't many stories about it. And... Oh, I think this is the Pokemon Gym. Yeah, item! I see an item. 
I'm not going to go to the Pokemon gym quite yet. I see, I see the monorail. Found the winner, never really miss. Yeah, it wore off. As I said, it was pretty much a waste, but we got the sky plate. And I think we can see, the, yeah, we can see the docks or the first part of the city down there. That's pretty cool, I gotta say. But anyway, let's do this arena. I'm sorry, I'm late. So could you show me evolution, Mega Evolution? Of course, whether you use Mega Evolution Battle or not is entirely up to you, but I'd like to know what the potential of a Pokemon really is. So here we go, we're going to be battling Serena yet again. She's going to start off with her Meow Stick. Uh, unfortunately, I, Serena, uh, I won't be able to show you Mega Evolution because I left Lucario in the dust. Or you could say, yeah, fake out, of course. Yeah, it doesn't do very, very much damage to Sipia, though. <laughs> and I will re re regain pretty much all the health. Anyway, uh, disarming voice? No, not the love voice! Ow, oh, super effective! Ouch! Well, payback! Ooh, that did a lot of damage. That did quite a lot of damage. Well, I left Lucario behind. Well, you know, it would be a lot better without me, okay? Then it would just sit in its box and do nothing. Anyway, there we go. Meow stick goes down. And what do we have up next? Viridi, we're up to level 34. Bulk up! Oh, oh. That's an interesting move. It will boost your attack and your defense, so... I think I'll actually get rid of Lichy since we haven't really been using that 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 much. So maybe Volka could be something, but uh, to be honest, I'm I don't really use that many stat boosting uh, moves in game two. Uh, we got an Absol coming up here, so I think that's pretty much perfect for Hera. <laughs> go go go, Hera! Let's see. Yeah, this is this is an obvious choice, isn't it? Flying press, quick attack. Ouch! No, that actually that actually did 20 damage. So nothing to worry about. Just body slam everything and take it out. <laughs> uh, body slam everything. S here it grows up to level 35, and Kitsune is also level 35 now. Sepia level 34. Everyone is just loving up like crazy. So last up on Serena's par party is going to be, of course, her Frogadier. And yeah, I think Veridi is going to have a very easy time against Frogadier here. Frogadier here? Quick, everything just like using quick attack against me. And it's not doing much damage and see bomb just, just one hit kill the Frogadier. <laughs> That was not very difficult at all, Serena. Yeah, you should be ashamed. I, that was an absolute destruction. It's a Pokemon training. I find you really interesting. Unfortunately for you, I didn't show you a Mega Evolution because I'm not able to do that quite yet. Even though we set off from Vanneville Town at the same time, you somehow became stronger than I am. What could be so different about us? Well, good luck with your gym battle. Do your best, okay? Well, I'll be sure to do that, but anyway, I think we're going to end things off here. I mean, we got to Co, Co, Me, Co, Co Marine City, and uh, we fought Serena, and uh, next time on Pokemon X, we'll be challenging the gym of Co Marine City. I hope you enjoyed it. I will see you guys next time. Monorail! Monorail!